Hey pros, so today we are traveling to DC. <sighs> Caffeine takes the plane again. You get ready for the trip. Ah, oh, DC. I'm here, but I'm not doing one lick of work. So I'm waiting for my rental car. It's nice and cold. I think they said 36 degrees. It feels like two. All right. I'm from Florida. Great. So I stopped to get something to eat at this very cute deli in Maryland. It's called Bradley Food and Beverage. Um, I came, I just got a smart water and a ham sandwich. Oh man. And, it's a cute little store. Like they have like all kinds of little goodies. Look at that. Like really cute stuff. Look at the Easter stuff, you guys. Look at the Easter stuff. Super cute. Super super cute. Ooh, I love this cup. This cup is so nice. Twenty dollars though. I don't know if I would. Spend twenty dollars on it, but they have nice little quaint items. Look at the candles, you guys! Now you guys know Elite Total Body Care has come up with their own candles. This candle is twenty dollars, and honestly, it's, I don't even think it's—it's it's actually a seven-ounce candle. Ours, just a little comparison, is an eight-ounce candle, and they're fifteen ninety-nine. Come on now. But I will say that they have all these little cute, like I like oils, I like to cook. I like all that good stuff. So this is just super cute to me. Super duper cute. So I came to the deli and I ordered a ham sandwich on pumpernickel bread. I love the spread. This reminds me so much of New York. Like New York delis are just like this. <sighs> Orlando, Florida has nothing on these types of delis. I think I will get a brownie though. I definitely am gonna get a brownie. All the different cheeses, the champagnes, all the wines. This is awesome. Great find. Okay, so I am at Union Station. I'm going to Uno's Pizzeria to have lunch with my daughter. But they're running a little bit late, so I'm gonna go into some of the shops <coughs> and see what I can find. So let's go. So I'll take two of these. Uh, I'll take one of the pineapple one you were talking about. What do you have that's dark chocolate? Okay. Like, what's the most bitter dark? I'll take one of those. Um, what do you have that's kind of like a turtle on the inside? Or anything with like a pecan on the inside. No? Okay. Anything that's just complete up? Maybe just dark chocolate. Yeah. I'll take one of these. Boxes on the end, those are all dark chocolate. And one of those at the end with the pineapple looking on the top. Yeah, what's that? Oh, I'll try that one. Oh, you did? Oh, no, the one next to it. What's the one next to it? 
I'll take that one. Only two of those. Alright, that's good. So I got me some chocolate that I cannot pronounce from Switzerland. I forgot to ask him how to say the name. And then while I'm out here waiting on the kiddos, I said, well, let me just walk across the road and go and look at the different sites. Cause there's some sites literally across the street. I don't know what this is, but hey, we're gonna take it in together. Okay, you guys, good morning, good morning, good morning. So I went to go and put my clothes on and my last two outfits that I brought for the trip, neither one fit. Thank you to Kasim because I bought sweatpants and none of the sweatpants can actually go past my thigh. So I'm gonna go to someone's little store and have to buy some more sweatpants. Mind you, these are the sweatpants that I just bought the other day if you are live with me, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna grab some breakfast downstairs, eat that. I literally had to put the pants on that I had on yesterday and I'm gonna put on my coat and put on my Crocs and I'm just gonna have to make it to someone's store to get what I need. Let's go.
Okay, you guys. So I'm officially finished with the Museum of African American History. It was awesome. Awesome, did you hear me? When I said awesome. I have a lot of great footage. Oh man, I'm just so excited that I got to really see a part of history because I never thought that I would get to see a lot of that. Um, and I'm really glad I went because it was a great experience. And I would highly recommend if you come to DC that you definitely visit that museum because you're in for a rude awakening and a super emotional awakening. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace. All right, guys. So my trip is over. I am now at the airport getting ready to check in to head back to sunny Florida. Even though I don't want to, but I have to. But I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what you guys thought about my trip. And I'll see everybody in the next vlog. Tell Cassie bye. Bye.